my journey got really great, June 1st, 2007. Before that, I was homeless uh, for seven years, and I was fighting an uh, addiction to opiates, and I was racking up all kinds of court charges. And uh, at, at the time, I was uh, unfortunately pleading guilty to a lot of things that I didn't do. But on June uh, 21st, 2007 was when uh, I decided to turn my life around. I went into rehab, and then after spending 28 days in the rehab for drug abuse, I lived for 11 months in a homeless shelter. While I was there, I was doing intensive outpatient therapy. Great things happened once I started to get clean. Uh, I started working with different agencies in the community and was able to get five scholarships for college. So I attended college uh, for the first year and got my certification in addictions counseling. And I went ahead and worked for a halfway house in Frederick. I knew that Goodwill was looking for people. And uh, I was kind of concerned going there because um, my first year in college, uh, I had to have brain surgery. And after that, I suffered some uh, short-term memory loss. Also, I did have a criminal record. But anyway, when I went into Goodwill, they welcomed me. They were very friendly. I did tell them up front about my situation, and uh, it really didn't matter to them. I'm not saying that they're not picky. They, they do want qualified people, but uh, they didn't use my barriers against me. And um, the, the great thing about that is my supervisor and the staff, they know I have short-term memory loss, so they're actually able to make me proficient, and they make adjustments for that. And what they'll do is they'll send me emails several times, the same one, and then they'll actually come by and ask, did I get the email? Uh, they go ahead, when they explain things, they do it uh, in a little simpler fashion, and not only that, they make sure that the task that's assigned to me, uh, that I understand it thoroughly. And they do that with dignity. Not only that, they are helping me finish the rest of my college. I represent a program called Life Skills, and I work with prisoners that are getting ready to transition out back into the community. And so we teach them soft skills and hard skills, and I think um, I have a leg up on that because uh, I was incarcerated at one time, and uh, I also suffered the same diseases that they've been diagnosed with too. My favorite part of my job is when the person who's released comes see me and gets into our program, and uh, the fire in that belly that they have, hopefully, gets developed. And then from there on out, it would be just like my story. Go from zero to 60 in two seconds. And uh, not only does it affect the client, but the families are so grateful. You know, just to see them, they're so appreciative that something has reached them. Everybody's valuable. Everybody's valuable. Don't allow yourself to be measured by someone else's yardstick. Sometimes don't believe everything you hear. I don't think I've met a bad person yet. I've maybe met a few people that need some guidance, but uh, everybody's important. The message I would have for employers is uh, to be open-minded. Um, I do understand that there is a huge stigma attached with people that have been incarcerated. Uh, and that stigma a lot of times is generated basically by what people know, which is uh, unfortunately what they see on television and, and what they read in the newspaper. Um, that only portrays a very small part of uh, what people who have been incarcerated are. Uh, I've run into some phenomenal people that uh, they have everything from a GED to master's degrees that have all been incarcerated. Um, if I had to sum it up in one sentence, it would be, please be open-minded.